Welcome back to our deck. In today's video, I'm going to compare the H.264 video compression mode along with the H.265 on DaVinci Resolve. Now, um, there's been a debate that H.265 actually saves you a lot of bandwidth and it consumes a little lesser space. And the evidence is actually on the DaVinci tool. When I was actually processing my video, I noticed this. Let's have a look. Because of the ultra cheap camera I'm using for my videos, I noticed that I always had problems with H.265 video recording, right? So I always used to use H.264 and I used to go ahead on DaVinci and process the whole video on H.264. Now the problem with this is uh, the whole movement. I, I never used to use uh, proxy media and that's something you should really explore if you're using DaVinci, right? If you create proxy media, it helps you uh, navigate the timeline much faster. So here's one of the examples, right? I mean, I, I'm trying to process a video here and uh, it's actually uh, compressing this video on the 265, 264 format. And you notice that it takes a really long time. Now the best thing here, which I learned over a period of time, uh, again, me being really slow, is that the CPU is always at 100%. I have a decent graphics card, which is probably two generations old. It's a 1070 Ti, and it hardly cross five or 6% most of the times. And this is something I notice all the time whenever I process the H.264 video into a full-fledged video, right? Rendering this video on H.264 never really used my graphics card at all. And this happened over and over again. I really did not bother because I should think that it's my processor which is taking time. I have a decent processor which is about uh, 3700X, not too old. And you know, it always took a lot of time to process any video using the H.264 compression. Windows 11 came out, but I still wanted to do this test. So before I installed Windows 11, I ran this test on Windows 10, right? So this right now is encoding using the H.264 format and remember the video is actually recorded in H.264 and it, it barely uses the GPU and that's something I really noticed. So just to do the test I went back to DaVinci I never should play around with these settings so I changed the video formatting to H.265. The video is actually recorded on H.264 compression but I'm encoding it on 265. I'm using the same standard settings, it's 4K, and the same specs on the desktop, nothing else has changed. Let's see what happens. Now, this is running the encoding on a H.265 compression. I notice things moving really fast. And once I open Task Manager, as you can see, now the CPU is still showing 100 most of the times, but it then comes down to about 60 to 70%. And the graphics card is actually operational and it's using it for at least 40 to 50% most of the times. So right now it's at 40, 42%. But at least it's working right now and the video is actually encoding much faster right and the load on the cpu has actually gone down so that's amazing so even if you record the video on h264 i think you should actually have the output encoded in h265 not only is the file smaller but the load on the cpu is much lower jumping onto Windows 11. Now, the same thing happens in Windows 11 as well. If you encode the video in H.264, as you can see, I'm leaving it as 264, just to, you know, see what happens. And I thought it will be slightly different here. Let's see what happens. I'm using the same 4K standard settings. Most of the settings are the same, I haven't changed anything. Even the audio is at AAC. Okay, 
the renderings actually started and you'll notice the same thing happens. The CPU is at full load, the graphics card is hardly at 20%. Remember, the video was recorded using the 264 compression and the processing is also done at 264, H264 and this is the result, 100% CPU usage. Things take a drastic turn when I change the format, the encoding format to H.265. Things seem to repeat. So here you, you have the same pattern that happened in Windows 10. So the recording is in H.264, but I'm rendering the final video in H.265. And here you can see that the GPU use has gone up and it's averaging around 30 to 50%. And the CPU usage has come down from 100% to about 60 to 70%. So this is not something that the pros wouldn't know about, but for somebody like me who uses this very rarely to make a few videos a month, probably, I never experimented so much, but this is a good tip for all you guys. I mean, if you want to process your video faster, but yet have no compatibility issues when you're recording, use H.264 to record and then use DaVinci to have the final format encoded in H.265. It reduces the file size and helps you upload quicker on YouTube. And YouTube supports H.265. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, it helps me. And I shall see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.